Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today I am going to be sharing with you guys a Stephen tour plus something else that I've thrown in there because I really wanted to show you. Oh and also another thing in there that I actually got off eBay and I just stuck it in this box because I got it around the same time. But anyway, uh, a few weeks ago there was a humongous and when I say humongous I really mean humongous Queen's birthday sale on the website Stevens. Now I have been to Stevens and I've got a few things from Stevens and they last for ages. Like the quality of their stuff's really good. So I really do like the shop. I just don't often go into it because I'm I barely ever go into Centre City. Um, if you guys are not familiar with Stevens, it's kind of like a homeware store where you can buy, you know, quality um, knives and forks. <laughs> no, but actually. And before I know it, I was adding to my cart. So <coughs> wasn't very good but the stuff was super duper cheap and it came in this humongous box and I must give credit to Stevens because they did package it really well we would be here all day unpacking so I have unpacked everything and just popped it back in the box so I'm just gonna put this down because ugh, it is humongous when I tell you these stuff are cheap I mean they are hella cheap so anyway we got some free air because you cannot get enough free air, can you? Like I said, everything was bubble wrapped and tissue papered and whoever did my order must have been just having like kind of like a bad day because they literally used like five or six sheets of tissue in one thing. I don't know if they were having a bad day, maybe they're like, oh I just want to make sure this person's package is nicely packaged together. Who really knows? But anyway, let's just get into it. So the first thing that I have reached for is this knife sharpener. I know, so riveting, isn't it? So exciting. To be honest, I don't actually have a knife sharpener. Um, a lot of the times I just use my knives and they're blunt and that's probably not so safe, is it? But anyway, um, I ended up getting myself a knife sharpener. Now this knife sharpener was originally $24.99 and it ended up being 70 cents. <laughs> How cool is that? 70 cents for this when it originally was $24.99. So that's what it looks like. Yes. I don't know. The next thing is actually what I went on this website to get because I love owls. I'm a little bit obsessed, but I must say that my obsession is slowly windling down. People are still buying me lots of owl stuff and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I've got so much owl stuff now. Like my house might as well be taken over by an owl. It's just a black owl candle and it did get a little bit scratched up but you know, rustic. We'll just take that as rustic. I've actually got a similar candle which I got from my auntie. It's a grey one. Um, this one is, well originally was $15.99. What the No comment. Anyway, this was originally $15.99 and I got it for 70 cents. Can you believe it? I'm just gonna pop it up here actually. If you guys are hearing like a squeaky farting noise, I'm not farting, I'm obviously not. It's my chair. See? Okay, anyway. The next thing I got was something that I probably didn't actually need and when my mum saw it she was like hey you stop buying, stop buying rubbish blah 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 but my um I've got a few a set of measuring cups and a set of like you know teaspoon tablespoon in there but my tablespoon ones I'm noticing um you know they've obviously had their days they're starting to kind of not clean properly whatever product's been on it's kind of not coming off so they're probably due for the bin so i got this cute measuring set um and these ones here are little hearts i think they're so cute um and also because i want to kind of use these for any food videos now i haven't done a food video in ages i have got a few that i've got lined up which i've been testing the shit out of like you know, testing to see if they are edible. Um, one of them I was meant to film ages ago, but I just haven't. But anyway, I can use these now instead of the other cups that I use. So yeah, these were originally $19.99. They're plastic. I don't know why they would be that much. And I got them for $1.14. 
Can you believe it? A dollar forty. The next thing I got was this jug, and I really liked the print on it. It's kind of like I don't know what kind of print is this. Kind of reminded me of that whole nautical kind of print, you know. Um, and I really just wanted a nice jug. Quite often I've bought nice jugs and I've ended up using them as vases and I'm not quite sure if I should reuse them again for like, you know, food or whatever but this one here I really want to use as like food or, you know, water or whatever goes in here, juice, picture. Um, so this one was originally $29.99 and I got this for $1.40. You're probably going to see similar prices throughout this whole, like, haul because a lot of the stuff was super duper cheap. Keeping with the same print, I just also got this little canister and I liked how they packed, they actually put some packing stuff inside it. I actually don't know what I'm going to pop in this, but um, yeah, this was originally $24.99 and I got this, like I said, with the other one, $1.40. So yeah, that's really cute. I'm loving um, like, you know, canisters like this with the wooden part on top. I think it's really nice. The next thing I got is kind of more decorative and I want to put one of them on my vanity and I don't actually know where the other one's going to go but we'll see. And it's just these mason glass um, cups. What are they? Mason, mason jar with flowers. It's got the little handles as well. Just in a pink one and this nice past, pastel green. In our spare room, this is the colour that we've gone for, well I've gone for, should I say. Um, he doesn't really have any say in how the house looks. Um, so I've got that colour and also a nice yellow because it gets the sun in the morning and it's just such a cosy room. Like even at night it's quite a cosy room in there. So um, yeah, I've got that for that and then yeah, these were originally... What the hell? $19.99 for this. You can pick up probably a $2 glass, paint it yourself for less than that. Uh, and I got this for $1.40, so that was a steal for sure. Uh, once again, I've got another bit of that set. Um, this is a gravy jug, it's kind of quite a random purchase. Um, this one here I thought was a little bit different because it kind of looks almost like a cup and a saucer. Um, I do have a gravy boat already, um, my nan gave me hers and I love using that one, but I thought that I would get another one as well, it's always cool having another one, right? Anyway, um, this was originally $24.99 and I got this for $1.40, so that was awesome. This one's kind of random, but I got myself a new little knife. This wasn't too expensive. It was $5.99 originally and I got it for 70 cents. The next one I was kind of like, what? I thought these were like, I didn't read the briefs properly. Normally I don't, I'm so bad at it. I just look at it, I'm like, oh, that looks nice. Um, so these are little side plates and they just look like this. Kind of got this cool Moroccan um, print on them. They are called the Mor Morocco, so it's obviously like a collection. Um, these plates were originally $9.99 and I got them for 70 cents. They are plastic, but they're actually made out of bamboo, so I thought that was pretty cool. They are really nice, but I just thought that they'd be like crockery. Um, it's probably good that we have got these because Ali's mum and niece are coming to stay with us a little later in the year and yeah, his niece can use these to eat off and it, we won't care if they break because they are literally plastic, well, bamboo. I got another cute little, I forgot about this, I got another cute little, what do you call this, something. I actually don't know where I'm going to put this, maybe it could go in the toilet it's kind of one of those things that you just like where the hell do I put this anyway this was originally $24.99 like what the heck $24.99 and I got this for $1.40 I love printed tea towels I just think they're so cool and they just make your kitchen look really cozy and I don't know I just really like printed tea towels I've really really got into them over the last year or so so I got this cool um boutique um, tea towel 
and at the bottom it just says Tukiko New Zealand. This was originally $12.99 and I got this for $1.41. And another thing that I got, and I think this will be really cool for entertaining, over the summertime I always entertain, even the winter I do sometimes as well, um, but I thought this would be really cool for entertaining. I got this chopping board, bamboo board, um, and yeah, it just looks like this. This was originally $30, and I got it for $3.50. So definitely a steal. When I went into Stevens the other day I um, had to return something they had broken. It was this pineapple um, oil candle, what are they called? Oil burners. Yeah it had broke in the post unfortunately and they didn't have any more but I did see these on sale and um, they, I don't think they were on sale. I think the sale had ended for the board so I was quite lucky to get in there. The lady at the Stevens here in New Plymouth said she was surprised I was able to buy all this stuff online because apparently they don't do um, sale items online or I think she was she might have been meaning like sale items online that are like you know breakable um, so yeah I was quite surprised about that but anyway and yeah that's pretty much all that I got from my Stevens haul at the same time in the mail I also ordered or should I say I also got because I ordered quite a while ago so with it being junk free Dune, I must admit I have slipped up a bit. I had a 21st that I went to down in Palmerston in the weekend just been and yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I did slip up. Um, but I wanted to make a donut, some donut, like there's so many different donut recipes out there that are like alternative donuts, like raw donuts, but I prefer baked ones. So I went and brought this cool donut pan Honestly, I was looking everywhere in New Plymouth for a donut pan. I could not find any and I was getting really frustrated because I have tried to do donuts without the rings and it's just not the same. So, uh, yeah, I bought this one from eBay. It's just a plastic one or rubbery one. So you can just fling them out. And the cool thing is the donuts aren't that big, the donut rings. Maybe that means because we can have more donuts. Now I did go to Kmart in the weekend and I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to do a haul of that stuff because it's not all that exciting to be honest. Um, I couldn't bring back any furniture with me because I had my auntie in the car so I ended up not doing as much shopping at Kmart. I was kind of a bit bummed but that means that I need to go and do more. <laughs> Hopefully soon we're going to take another trip, but we might go to Hamilton instead. I found that Palmerston North just didn't have a lot. It really sucked. I was like really gutted. But anyway, Strand Bags is just outside of Kmart at the mall. And I saw that they were having like a 50% off sale. I was like, oh my gosh. I'm not the biggest handbag person to be honest. Normally I go for like cheap bags. Like if you've just recently seen my what's in my bag tag video you would have seen that my bag was like literally it was so cheap from the warehouse i'm just not big on bags and i don't think i ever will be to be honest i mean if i was given like a thousand dollars or one lotto and i wanted to go and buy an expensive branded bag i so would but i just really am not really yeah i don't really care <laughs> but i saw this beautiful bag this one here um, on the sale rack and once again I've gone for brown I really don't know why I just don't know why but this attracted me more um, and this is from the brand called Laura Jones and it originally was $109.99 and I got it pretty much for half price so I got it for $54.99 um, and I like it because it's just one big compartment so everything just gets chucked in there and you can see it it's got a little it's got one of those little pockets right there for my giant pad if you guys watched my um what's my bag tag you'll understand what i was meaning by giant pad um and yeah and it's got these little things here maybe for your drink bottle no <laughs> that probably might look a little bit like Ugh. so two pockets there and it doesn't have the long strap like what my other one does but yeah, you can just carry it here. Can look all fancy. 
yeah why am i talking like that anyway um i was really really pleased with this purchase this was probably better than my kmart purchase to be honest like i just love it so soft leather um yeah so i'm really really stoked with that box. so anyways that's a few things that i have recently brought i just wanted to share them with you because sharing is caring um and yeah i hope you guys are having a fantastic fantastic day see you guys in my next video bye pad and i hate it because it was meant to i think it was meant to go into this bag maybe and it just couldn't fit because look how humongous that is like seriously anyway i wore one of these and i